right, folks. Since I thought I was recording before, and now I am. Uh, I just got finished installing that, thinking I was showing you how I do that. That is when when I'm parked and camping. That comes out, and I store it up underneath the uh, workbench. So that's only in there when I'm getting ready to put the trike in, and then it comes out immediately. So anyhow, I'm getting ready to uh, I'm getting ready to pull it in now. Just want to show you how easy it is to pull it in with the new trailer. No, not many issues at all. There's not much I have to move around or anything like that. So anyhow, here we go. to it. Um, I'm not going to be strapping it down. Um, this is how it's going to travel like this. Um, all I got is two straps on the rear and two straps on the front and I, I can uh, have that finished in about five minutes. But um, this is how it's going to travel uh, just about the way you see it now. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I just figured I wanted to, uh, maybe you can hear me better now. Maybe I just wanted to see, wanted, to, wanted you to see, uh, I just wanted you to see how much easier it is with the new trailer than the old trailer. Um, and the fact that I don't have to move stuff around. Uh, everything's pretty much in its place. Anyhow, I'm back in or back out. So then when I get done, when I'm, when, I've, uh, when I'm at my campsite, basically, I'm in here. That's it, and then this thing, goes, this thing goes up underneath my workbench, and I'll show you that in a second. Alright, so here's my workbench. And it gets cleared off um, for travel, otherwise everything scatters everywhere. Um, most of that stuff goes in that blue bin right there. Um, and then other things other places but uh, the one thing I wasn't able to use before because it was so uh, packed in was the floor drill press 
I've already been using that. I've just built these cabinets. Uh, I had um, all the stuff that was in those cabinets in those two tubs there, and um, I needed a, uh, I needed to have access to the stuff that was in there. So now the drawers just slide out, and I just get what I need. Uh, and now also the top part is storage for my gas tanks. I have uh, three there, and then two there. Um, I know there's another one somewhere. I can't, I don't know where it's at right now. But I told, have a total of six of them. Uh, but anyhow, I just wanted to run through uh, and show you uh, what it was like now with the new trailer. Um, I also installed a second um, water tank. So now I got uh, uh, just, I think it's 92 gallons of water, fresh water tank, fresh water. Um, everything now is pretty much got out of place. Um, I'm even thinking about um, adding uh, a shelf, you know, tap into these uh, rails and uh, having a shelf come down about, oh, I don't know, two feet. Because I'm so short in here, that wouldn't bother me at all. But the only thing i got to uh, be cognizant of is pulling that kind of stuff out up there, uh, whether that shelf will be in the way or not. And it probably won't be the full length of the trailer. It'll just be, uh, 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 won't be the full length of the trailer, probably about halfway. And it won't be the full width. It'll only probably be to those bolts where you see the... Uh, uh, Solar panels bolted in there. Probably only be there. But it's just to get more stuff up, up, up off the ground. But anyhow, hope you enjoyed the show, the video. Uh, I'll have a link to my old video of me uh, loading or unloading my trailer up here in the corner. Um, so you can see the difference if you have not, if you weren't. If you haven't been following me for very long and, and seen how much trouble <coughs> I had uh, with the old trailer. Hey folks, this is the next day and I realized that I forgot to <coughs> show you the rest of the trailer outside. So here we go. Alright, it's got a step right there. <clears throat> it's lower than the normal floor. I'm probably going to add another step just because I got short legs. Got the bar there and a normal latch, normal uh, RV latch. Latch there. This is all the uh, taping I did for uh, solar panels on top and then the Reverse or the backup camera I put on the back. I'll show you that in a few minutes and uh, my umbilical cord um, let's See what else oh, I had to have a massive hitch Mounted to the trailer to the bus three-quarter inch or half inch uh, metal steel there. This is half inch uh, square tubing. Um, and then it's uh, bolted and welded to the frame. It's supposed to be able to handle uh, around 1200 pounds. Look at this look at the size of these um, the framing for this trailer. 8 inch by 2 inch by they said quarter inch steel. Um, the um, old trailer was dry weight was 1,900 pounds. This trailer uh, dry weight is 4,700 pounds, but it can handle 12 uh, 12,000 pounds. Um, the tr the tires look like they're 17 inch, but they're actually 16 inch. But they can handle. Um, 4,000 pounds, right around 4,000 pounds each. Those are 16 inch, uh, 8 lug. I just installed that can, that uh, light right there. Put that stuff on the wall, on the door. 
got a vent there. Not no fan, just a vent. And uh, I had a, um, I got, I ordered the uh, spare tire. And these are 14 ply, by the way. These are 14 ply tires. This I did myself. Uh, I had a plate that I mounted to the <coughs> drop down door. And then uh, on the outside of the plate, I drilled a hole in the center and I put a um, uh, grade eight uh, carriage bolt through. And that's how I mounted it. Very sturdy uh, ramp. There's the uh, backup camera I put on right there. My old surveillance uh, cameras are not working on the trailer. I don't know why yet, but uh, um, so I haven't, I installed the one there and then I took it off and sealed it and then put that one on. Um, not sure what's going on with the old one. I haven't installed any other cameras yet. But and there's the uh, water receptacle right there. Uh, like I said, I got a, a second tank in there now. So 90, I think it's 9,200, 92 gallons fresh water in the trailer. But um, it, it, it's uh, not... To me, it's not worth the price I paid. I paid um, eighteen thousand. Uh, if I would have bought it when I first, if I would have ordered it when I first uh, was uh, working on it, I would have only paid uh, about twelve. But um, the longer I waited, the more sur surcharges went into effect. Uh, so finally, when it got to eighteen, I said, uh, "Let's order it now before it goes up again." And I wrote the company uh, Pace um, and let them know that I was not happy with the price. Um, don't know if anything will come of that, but uh, don't know if they realize how much I paid. But uh, I put, you know, I, I let them know that I wasn't happy with the price. But I had to have it. I mean, it's just, uh, I needed uh a new trailer that can handle more weight. Um, so I had to do it. But anyhow, um, I just figured I would uh, show you the outside, show you what it looked like, show you uh, all the amenities. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and uh, see you on the next video.